take a look at question number eight. Okay. Now for question number eight, right, uh, we have the length of a side and the corresponding height of a triangle is uh, x plus three and two x minus five. So in this question, we don't need to define the variable already because the question already tell us the variable, right? So uh, we, we can just use the values given to us directly. Okay, given that the area of the triangle is 20 cm square, find the value of x. So what we need to do now is we need to form the equation, right? How do you think you can form the equation? How do you think you can form the equation? Um, uh, so I don't know now. Okay, how, what is the formula for the area of a triangle? Half times half a times base. Half, half times base times height, height, right? Yeah, half times base times height. So we can actually make use of the formula for the area of triangle, right? So half times base. What is the value of the base? X plus three. Yeah, x plus three, right? Okay, so x plus three. And what's the value oh, of the height? 2x minus 5. Mm, good. Okay, good, Liana. Yeah. So 2x minus 5. Okay, and the area is given as? 20 cm square. 20 cm square, yes. Okay, so it will be equals to 20. Can everyone follow this? Yes. Yes, uh, okay. Hey, what's the smudge over here? Now I don't have control of the whiteboard. Uh, Wait, what? Wait, sure. What what do you do? Okay, no, I have. Okay, all right. So now uh, we, we need to we need to actually simplify this, uh. all right. So before we actually simplify this, right, okay, you want to uh, make the right hand side zero, right? So you want to make the right hand side zero. So what do you think you can do now? Negative twenty. Ah, minus twenty. Uh, you bring the you bring the uh, right hand side over. Uh. I don't know whether it's recording at this. Okay, yeah, yeah it's recording. Yeah. Okay, so we might. It's we still recording. It's still recording. Ah, okay. All right. So now we will minus twenty. Ah, so it's half bracket x plus three. Okay. Multiply by two x minus five. Minus twenty is equal to zero. All right. Okay. Can we get an idea? Can I? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now. All right. Now, do you see the half over here? This half uh, is a bit uh, annoying uh, because if we do refractions, sometimes it's a bit annoying. Okay, now how do you think we can remove the half? Negative 10, uh, uh, multiply it to x plus 3. Uh, okay, then, then that, that will make it even worse. Okay, uh, there's another way. How, how do you think we can... Negative 10. Uh, this one will become negative 10, then this one, what do you do? Take away. Uh, just times two lah. Because when we times two, what will happen? When we times two, then the two will cancel off, then it becomes one, right? Uh, and but because we are multiplying by two here, we also need to multiply by two here, we need to multiply by two here. Can you get an idea? Also, everything you times two are. Uh, so the next step we will get this x plus three multiplied by two x minus five minus ten is equal to zero. Can you get an idea? Okay, what I'm doing here is I'm multiplying by two for all the terms here. Can you get an idea? So when I yeah. when I take half multiplied by two, it will become one. Then the half will disappear. Okay. Then uh, oh, this is not ten. Uh, it's uh, forty. Uh, because times two. Okay. I need to multiply by two. So twenty times two. So I you only four. times two for the twenty, is it? No, I times two for everything. Okay. Because I, I want to times two to remove the half. Oh, Shiza, you understand? Mm. But sure, you didn't. You didn't times two for the you fraction. No, I, I'm time, I, I multiply by 2. Okay, everything times 2. Huh? So what will happen is like this. Times 2, times 2, times 2. Can you get the idea? So, uh, two so the fractions... The fraction need, cancel uh. off. Lah, because, okay, what happens? When you take 2 over Nani? 1, uh, it, it cancel off. Can you get the idea? So the 2 will disappear. Mm -hmm. The half will disappear. Can we get the idea? Uh, uh, so the idea here uh, is I multiply every single term by 2. Can we get the idea? To remove the fraction. Can everyone get the idea? Yeah. Oh, so so this is the technique. Okay. Uh, to, the, this is a technique to remove fractions from our question. Huh? That means you multiply by the denominator. Multiply by the value of the denominator, you will be able to remove the fraction. Huh? Can you get the idea? 
But but if you do okay. it for the first term, you must do it for the second term, you must do it for the third term also. Okay. Okay. So that it's consistent. Yeah. Okay. Now the next okay. step we need to expand our terms, right? So you expand. Okay. Mm. X times two X. What is X times two X? Uh, 2x, 2x squared. 2x squared. 2x, 2x, square, 2x. 2x square. Okay, one by one. Okay, x times negative 5. Okay. Negative 5x. Ah, negative 5x, good. Okay, 3 times 2x. 6x. 6x. Ah, plus or minus? Plus. Plus. Plus, ah, plus 6x, good. All right, and then uh, 3 times negative 5. Negative 15. Ah, negative 15. Ah, so you minus 15 here. Alright. And then continue minus 40 equals to 0. Okay. Can you get the idea? Wait, yes. sure. so the bracket no the what? Bracket so, no two times. Uh. Bracket we, no no, we are we are multiplying. Okay, so do you see that? X times 2x, I get 2x square. X times negative uh, 5, I get yeah, okay. So I already expanded the brackets. Huh? Do you understand this? Okay, so, uh, oh, this is our expansion oh, in uh, chapter 4, I think. Chapter 4 or chapter 5. Uh. Chapter 4, chapter 4. Oh, can you remember? Oh, this is our yes. projective expansion. Uh. All right. Okay. Now, the next step now is uh, we want to simplify it. Right? So now we simplify it. Uh. So 2x squared. Okay. Minus 5 plus 6. What is minus 5 plus 6? Plus x. Ah, plus x. So you write down one. plus x. Yeah, plus 1x. Uh. Negative 15 minus 40, what do you get? Negative 55. Yeah, negative 55, so minus 55 equals to 0. Okay, everyone got, everyone got the idea? Okay, uh, okay. Now, the next thing is you want to apply your factorization. Which technique do we use? Multiplication. Yes, multiplication. Frame, uh. yeah, the fish method. Uh. So you draw the fish head here. Okay, multiplication frame. Okay, write down the 2x square minus 55. Okay, then you press your calculator mode 3, 3. What do you get? What are the values that you get? 5 and negative 5.5. Okay, 5 and negative 5.5. So 5 we change to 5 over 1. Negative 5.5 we change to uh, 11 over 2, right? Okay, so what? how do you read the answers? It will be what? x plus 5, 2x. Okay, the, oh, it's supposed it's, to be negative 5. Okay, okay. Ah, yeah, okay. You change the sign up. Okay. So, so Daniel x, say he's not inside. x minus 5, and then, uh, uh, where are? How, how come he's not inside? Because he left. Oh, he left. Uh. Okay, I, I, I admit him now. Okay, yeah. All right, okay. So, uh, now we have uh, x minus 5 and 2x plus 11. Everyone get the idea? Mm. Can I? Okay, so x minus 5, 2x plus 11. Okay, then you do your multiplication. Uh. So 11 times x, what is 11 times x? 11x. Uh, 11x. Uh. Okay, then negative 5 times x? Negative 5x. Negative 10x. Uh, neg uh, this is 2x, uh, not, not 1x, uh, so negative 10x. Right? So 11x minus 10x, do you get positive x? 11x yeah. minus 10 you get. Uh, so that means your factors are correct. Right? And uh, we will just write down the answers here. So 2x plus 11x minus 5 is equal to 0. Right? Okay, then after this, we will solve. So 2x mm. plus 11 equals to 0 or x minus 5 is equal to 0. So x will be equal to negative 11, x is equal to 5. Then uh, x is equal to negative 11 over 2, you get negative 5.5. Okay, then you look at the question. Uh, do we accept both answers? Now we are talking about a length of a triangle, right? So can we accept uh, both wait. answers? Uh, no, only one. No, uh, so which one do we accept? x equals 5. Uh, we accept x equals 5. five. Uh, we will reject negative. this one. Uh. Yeah, we will reject x equals yep. negative. Because length cannot be negative. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we reject this answer. Then finally, you want to write down the value. Oh, yeah, so this is the answer. Huh? So this will be the answer. Are we clear about this? 
Yep. Okay. Can, uh? okay. So, uh, do you need me to go through any more questions? Is it okay for today? Yep. Yes. Uh, okay. So, uh, I will be giving you two questions as homework. Later, I'll assign it in uh, Google Classroom. All right. So, uh, make sure you complete it by tomorrow, uh, eleven fifty nine p.m. Oh, and uh, yesterday's homework. Uh, please make sure you submit it by today. Uh. okay. Okay. So, uh, the two questions. Just tomorrow, uh, what time? Eleven fifty nine p.m. Okay. okay. Ah, so the two questions that I'll be giving you as homework for today will be question number, uh, question number five, and question number five, five and nine. Wait, why is there an arrow? Okay, I I I don't know. Okay, so homework uh, it will be assigned in Google Classroom. Uh, so can you do question number five, and question number nine? Huh? From exercise uh five B. All right, okay. So uh that's all for today's lesson. All right. Are you okay with that? Mm-hmm. Can I? Okay, so uh that's yeah. all. Okay, so I, I see you tomorrow. I mean I see you on Friday. All right, bye bye.